top news headlines. Manipur records one more novel coronavirus fatality, total reaches eight. India's COVID-19 death toll crosses 40,000 mark, over 56,000 new cases push overall tally to 19.6 lakh. Twenty years old pregnant woman dies due to non-availability of doctors. An eight patients death as fire breaks out at COVID-19 hospital. A very good afternoon. Welcome to Times of Manipur. You're watching the news today at 1 p.m. I'm Albina Riyamai giving you the latest news updates. Manipur registered one more COVID-19 death today. With this, the total number of fatalities due to the contagion in the state has reached eight so far. The 15-year-old boy patient was suffering from chronic kidney disease and had been undergoing treatment for the past two months, an official report said. The boy from Fubala, Ward No. 4 of Bisnupur subdivision under Moirang, died at 6.45 this morning at Regional Institute of Medical Sciences, Reims. Officials said one doctor and two other persons who attended the deceased patient have tested positive for COVID-19. Meanwhile, Manipur registered 75 new cases of COVID-19 in the last 24 hours, taking the total tally to 3,093. The confirmed cases include 42 from general public and 33 from Central Armed Police Forces, CAPF. These cases were detected at various research and diagnostic laboratories of Reims, Jenims, Reims Trunat, Babina Diagnostic Center, Raj Medicity and STDC IRL, according to an update from the COVID-19 Common Control Room. The fresh cases are from Imphal West, Thaubal, Chandel, Churachanpur, Imphal East, Senapati and Bisnupur districts. Among the 42 general public, three are returnees. All the patients have been shifted to different COVID care facilities. Currently, the number of active cases in the state is 1,224 and 1,862 have been recovered. The recovery rate of COVID-19 positive cases in the state reached 60.20% again yesterday after it was declined to 60.10% on Tuesday last. Assam has reported 2,284 fresh cases of COVID-19 positive yesterday, taking the total tally to 50,445 with 14,429 active cases. According to our Assam correspondent, during the past 24 hours, Hosai district alone recorded 72 new cases of COVID-19. So far, 35,829 individuals have recovered, while 121 have succumbed to the disease in Assam. The total coronavirus cases in India surged to 19,64,537, while the death toll climbed to 40,699, with 904 people succumbing to the disease in a span of 24 hours. As per the Union Ministry of Health and Family Welfare data updated this morning, the COVID-19 tally of the country climbed to 19,64,537. The overall coronavirus tally of India includes 5,95,501 active cases, while 13,28,337 have recovered so far, the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare's data showed. India's COVID-19 tally mounted to 19.08 lakh yesterday with 52,509 people testing positive for COVID-19 in a day while the death toll climbed to 39,795 with 857 people succumbing to the disease in a span of 24 hours, updated data showed. 
A 20 years old pregnant woman died due to non-availability of doctors for delivery early this morning at around 3. The disease was identified as Kachak Nakame, wife of Roshan Balang of Puichi village in None district. The husband said his wife was earlier taken to Senapati district hospital. However, due to seriousness of her condition, the doctors there refer her to Jenim's infall. Later, due to non-availability of doctors at Jenim's, she was again rushed to Reims Lamfelpat, but she was denied medical attention as the hospital authority claimed there were no doctors. The report added Kachagna was then rushed to Raj Medicity at North AOC, an Imphal hospital, but they were found closed. Eventually, she was taken to Shiza Hospital at Langol, where she breathed her last. At least eight patients died after a major fire broke out at a COVID-19 hospital in Ahmedabad in the wee hours today. According to media reports, all eight victims, including five men and three women, were novel coronavirus patients admitted to hospital. They were being treated at the ICU ward of the COVID-19 designated Shrey Hospital in Navrangpura area of Ahmedabad, an official said. Ahmedabad Fire Department confirmed the news. A healthcare worker was also injured in the fire, the official added. The fire broke out at the Ahmedabad hospital around 3.30 a.m. in the ICU unit, police said. Several fire tenders were rushed to the spot to douse the flames. The fire was finally brought under control at 4.22 a.m., officials said. The cause of the fire is not known yet, he said. Around 40 other COVID-19 patients at Sri Hospital were rescued and shifted to a civic hospital in the city. As per officials, around 50 COVID-19 patients were admitted to Shrey Hospital. Of this, 10 were in the ICU unit of the Ahmedabad Hospital. Now we have a short commercial break. Stay tuned for more updates. Aikhoi khoi pum namaki rakta tin birambi matam koi na umang lai gi thogal to birambi mai bi me malai ma masagya na ba madagi hau kiba August ki tang ani lising ani kun. Tawan Gitara Marini Panba, Nomizing Numita, Mahaki Nusi Jaraba, Imung Manu, Sagay Nata Yamadi, Maruk Mapang Kwai Pumamapu Tadoktuna, Mapugi Kuya, the Changja Cray, Lakliba, August Kitang Taret, Lisinganikun, Tawan Gitara Mapani Panba, Irai Numita, Mangani Lehun Tamlaga, Lakliba, August Kitang Tarataru, Lisinganikun, Tawan Gikun Taret Ni Panba, Nomizing Numita, Lana Turam Tokle. Malem sin batunga sandorokli ba lichat COVID-19 namara moiduna imung manung sagai natai khakta makpang thok charagani masida mahaka khamna janaram basinga waro bidana ba haizari haizari ba mai bi pak pi leima sihai chirohen machanupa vizang khuna maitai leikai tuibong forest gate churachanpur anau ba feature single loina na lechare da chan ready go distinctive led drls 20 inch 32 cm infotainment screen, smart drive auto, spacious cabin, flexible storage capacity, intuitive reverse parking assist camera, starting price 3 lakh. Booking kita mag ngasi maglengsin bida u island Nissan Kanjipur near Standard Robert Higher Secondary School. AK Center, Gari Makhale Kaigi Imphal Valley Academy da Hangliba Center asina. Net amadi IIT JEE experiencing da top top makhal gi coaching piri. Ellen, Akash, Fidji amadi Kota Rajasthan gi experience layer ba faculty sing na center asida takpi tambiri. I am Sudhir Inam and I am a student of Comet School and I choose AK. I am Kojan Viraj. I am a student of Science National School, Odisha and I choose AK. I am Robert Chan Hong Sangbom. I am a student of Harvard School and I choose AK. Karen Hong Sangbom, Comet School and I choose AK. Online admissions open. Register today. Welcome back. Several shops were gutted in a major fire in the wee hours at Langolgem village, John 4 and the Lamphal police station in Imphal. Two grocery shops, one cosmetic store and one pharmacy were among the shops gutted in the blaze, according to a report. Manipur Fire Service rushed to the spot to conduct fire dosing. Chief Minister N. Biren Singh inaugurated two fast-track courts, FTCs, at Uripok and Lamphalpat in Imphal through video conferencing from the Chief Minister Secretariat Imphal yesterday evening. Speaking on the occasion, Chief Minister said that such FTCs have been set up to tackle the cases related to crime against women in the state.
During the last three and a half years, around 951 cases of crime against women have been registered, he added. He mentioned that with the establishment of these FTCs, women will get faster access to justice while also serving as a deterrent to criminals. The chief minister maintained that there is an urgent need to dispose of all major cases of crime against women such as rape, torture, etc. These FTCs will dispose the pending POSCO and rape cases in the state, he added. He opined, he opined that there is a long-felt need that judiciary and executive should go hand-in-hand -hand for justice and development. The state government has appointed two retired district and session judges, Salam Imocha Singh and Chandam Brajachan Singh, as judges of the two newly inaugurated FTCs, he added. State government has also approved engagement of staff on contract cases with approval of the cabinet to be taken for schedule. There is a long felt need that judiciary and the executive should go hand to hand for justice and development. We are grateful to the Honorable Courts for their timely intervention in various areas of governance. By reviewing action of government machinery, I must however appeal to the Honorable Judges to duly consider the socio-political context in which government has to make many decisions in public interest. I assure understanding will go a long way in ensuring faster development. I congratulate the judicial establishment on its setting up of facet road. I am hopeful that with the establishment of this court, our women will get faster access to justice while also serving as a deterrent to criminal. All Manipur VDF Welfare Association has announced that the association will intensify the ongoing stir from August 10. Association President M. Amuthoi condemned the Chief Minister's statement yesterday in media, wherein he said that the government honours the demand raised by the BDF and that the government has decided to increase their honorarium to rupees 10,500. M. Amuthoi said that the state government has ignored other key demands such as 13 months pay, service regularization, and service. Security. <laughs> The flood situation in Assam has improved considerably over the last couple of days with no rain and the sun burning bright across the state. However, 50% of the world famous Kaziranga National Park KNP is still inundated as per media reports. As many as 18 rhinos and 135 wild animals died due to the deluge till date. On the other hand, around 172 wild animals have been rescued so far from flood water, even though over 95% of the park remain inundated until July 23. The animals that died this year include 18 rhinos, 107 hawk deer, 12 wild boars, 6 wild buffaloes, 4 porcupines and 3 swam deer. The 172 rescued animals include three rhinos, 120 hawk deer, 31 pythons and four cobras. Forest officials said not only KNP but the Manas, Orang and Tinsukia national parks and the Pabitora and Tinsukia wildlife sanctuaries were also affected by flood water that led to death of many wild animals there. Of the 223 camps of forest personnel guarding the park, three were still inundated as of yesterday despite receding flood water. Around 1.43 lakh people in 270 villages in 15 districts are still in distress, even as the situation in Assam has improved hugely in the past two weeks due to a let-up in the monsoon. The Mizoram government is mulling to frame its own health policy to set a target or goal and evolve proper system vis-a-vis -vis public health. This was informed by State Health Minister Dr. R. Lal Thangliana yesterday. According to a media report, this was decided at a meeting of the Health and Family Welfare Board attended by health officials, including the board vice chairman and MLA Dr. Jedar Thiamsanga. 
According to an official, the board meeting observed the need for an inventory management system to maintain a detailed record of staffers, their posting places and condition. Health infrastructures like properties, machines and equipment, among others, under the health department. The meeting also decided to have database software inventory to facilitate record of properties and other important medical equipment and also felt the need for a hospital information management system, Dr. R. Lalkan Liana said. Arunachal Pradesh registered 65 new COVID-19 cases yesterday, taking the state's overall tally to 1,855. According to a data shared by the Directorate of Health Services, Arunachal Pradesh last night reported the new COVID-19 positive cases from 11 districts across the state. Of the new cases, 19 positive cases have been reported from Changlang District. Isiang District has reported 12 cases and 10 cases have been reported from the Itnagar Capital Region, ICR. Meanwhile, the total number of discharged patients in Arunachal Pradesh now stands at 1,210. Arunachal Pradesh currently has 642 active COVID-19 cases, while three persons have succumbed to infections in the state so far, the report added. Again, let's take a short commercial break. Stay tuned. Downtown University. Jahi Manghan Biganu, Adomgi Ichabu, Jahi Manghan Biganu. Notice India's most placement driven university among Oidiba, Assam Downtown University ki admission hausare. Pandemic asigi yeng laga online class through September Amadigi hausaragani. Engineering, paramedical, Amadi allied course sing da Ming Chanbini Basinga. Assam Downtown University admission office, Babu Para, Bosem Imphal Lerak Talak Piduna. Form law view, Ming Chen view, Amadi Tanabi. Manipur University the affiliate Tauraba South Asian Institute of Rural and Agricultural Management Sairam Langjing Achoba Infal West ki admission hausare course singdi BSc Agriculture BSc Horticulture Amadi Bachelor of Business Administration BBN Aku pamrol gidamak ekhoi ki website www.sairam.org.in nataga 7641929924 for the contact of you Welcome back Hiroshima today observed the 75th anniversary of the world's first atomic bombing with ceremonies downsized due to the coronavirus and the city's mayor urging nations to reject selfish nationalism and unite to fight all threats. As per a media report, though thousands usually pack the Peace Park in the center of the Japanese city to pray, sing and offer paper cranes as a symbol of peace and trance was, was sharply limited and only survivors and their families could attend the memorial ceremony. The city said the significance of the anniversary of the bombing that killed 1,40,000 people before the end of 1945 had prompted its decision to hold the ceremony despite the spread of the virus, but taking strict precautions. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe attended as usual, but the number of foreign visitors was down. Overall, attendance was scaled back to less than a tenth of the usual figure, with chairs spaced far apart and most people wearing masks. As the rains battered Mumbai incessantly over the past few days, Kolaba set a record with the highest rainfall in the single day in 46 years. India Meteorological Department has said Kolaba has received 331.8 mm rainfall in the last 24 hours. In 12 Kolaba area of Mumbai received 293.8 mm of rain, which is the highest that the South Mumbai area has seen in the last 46 years in the month of August, according to a media report. IMD has also said that a height tide of 4.33 meter is expected at around 1.50 p.m. this afternoon in Mumbai. Incessant heavy rainfall and strong winds battered Mumbai and neighboring Thane and Palghar district, disrupting suburban train and bus services yesterday. Three high-capacity cranes deployed at the Jawaharlal Nehru Pork Trust in Raigat district collapsed due to gusty winds yesterday, but there was no casualty. Now we have the local newspaper headlines. The People's Chronicle. Chief Minister says rims genims to treat symptomatic cases only. Dedicated sample collection team for frontline workers. Negative results must for CAPF on duty. Virus researchers in Thobal. Infall is Infall West potential hotspots. 
Janem's COVID patients' protests poor diet. Non-teaching employees' welfare association junks REMS authorities' clarification. Infall free press. COVID-19 tests will be scaled up. State to purchase 50,000 more test kits, says Chief Minister Birain. Hunger forces COVID-19 patients to come out of wards at Janem's. The Sangai Express. Prime Minister performs Bhumi Pujan for Ram Temple at Ayodhya. Still no exact figure on total number of locally transmitted cases. Out of 1,197 active cases, 502 are CAPF personnel, says Chief Minister. Let's block COVID-19, not roads. Advises People's Task Force for COVID-19. 149 more tests positive to take total to 3,167. Manipur Mail. COVID figure reaches 3,093. Adopt COVID preventive measures, says Chief Minister Birain. Chief Minister inaugurates two fast-track courts. India records highest ever single-day recoveries. Before we wind up, the top news headlines once again. Manipur records one more novel coronavirus fatality, total reaches eight. India's COVID-19 death toll crosses 40,000 mark. Over 56,000 new cases push overall tally to 19.6 lakh. <music> 20 years old pregnant woman dies due to non-availability of doctors. And eight patients dead as fire breaks out at COVID-19 hospital. That's all for now. Thank you for joining us. Good day ahead.